what makes the four-hour workday completely effective for me is tracking the results of my work in Microsoft Excel. When I use this Microsoft Excel spreadsheet to track my results, it forces me to zoom in on what the right work is. Now, if you're just getting started and you're not sure what you should focus on, that's okay. You work with whatever you have today. When I started this spreadsheet back in December 2014, I started it based on what I knew. I knew that making videos on Udemy, which are also called lectures, this was some of the most valuable work I was doing and that needed to be primary. My work on Udemy needed to be part of my daily work and my work on Udemy needed to be recorded so that I could see the cumulative result of what doesn't seem like that much work. At first glance, you might say four hours a day? That's not very much work. You're not even trying. I could do eight, 10, 12, 16 hour days. The key is to produce something out of the work you're doing and then to record what it is you're producing so you can see how effective it is. At first, the mind simply will not accept something like four hours, it's possible to get the same amount or more done in four hours as it is in eight hours. The mind will outright reject that and not even try it, not even give it a chance. Using this Excel spreadsheet, using the tracking on here, gives me the ability to prove that this works in my life. The whole time here, I've consistently done approximately four hour work days on average. That means sometimes I've taken some days off, some days I've worked maybe five or six hours to get everything balanced out. Now what you see here, I've set this spreadsheet up and I will include this for you as a resource in this lecture so you can literally just adapt this to your own needs. I'm grateful that I know to share this with you because a bunch of people taking my courses before you have said, Jerry, I love your workflow. I love your workflow. That's why I'm sharing this is because so many others have found it helpful. Tracking it forces me to look at what I'm doing outside of the mental story. So what I've done, I've put the date in here on this side and then the date automatically goes up each day. And then this first column is objective number one, which is videos uploaded to Udemy. However many videos you've been through in this course is how many I've already done today. I started out with a simple goal of doing two on average per day. Now that doesn't sound like much, does it? And this illustrates the four hour workday principle perfectly. Setting a goal that seems easy to achieve and then achieving it consistently produces incredible results. Now, if I'd said at the beginning of this, Jerry, you need to do 2,000 videos on Udemy, I'd have said, no way, I can't do that. That's not possible. I saw someone with 20 courses on Udemy around this same time and said, man, if I had 20 courses, I'd have it made. I didn't set out to make 20 courses. I set out to do two videos every single day. And then within that, those two videos to be able to do that within a four hour period. Now today I have 56 courses on Udemy and it's because I do a little bit every day. So you can see that the tracking for this goes along and then some days I'm doing a lot. Some days I'm doing 10, even 20 some days. And then there's other days where there's vacation, where there's travel, where I'm not doing anything. And then there's here where my daughter's born, where I don't do anything on making videos on Udemy. So the whole point of this is to give yourself gold stars for the good work you are doing, to see how much a little bit of work every single day adds up to, and to zoom in to figure out exactly what the right work is. So across here, I've changed all of these columns over time. I've changed this up to try and reflect what the right work is. So I've added that into working on two courses and doing additional coursework here. So all of these first columns lead into work on Udemy, and then this one 
This one is messages, discussions, and reviews answered on Udemy also. So 80% of this spreadsheet at least is Udemy work and yet there's another column here called YouTube and it represents Facebook videos also. These are videos I've uploaded on YouTube and Facebook because distribution, getting my free distribution out there is very valuable also. So this is a new category. This column on the end here has been modified a bunch of times. I initially started off with skill feed. Skill feed went out of business. I deleted that one. I didn't originally have this one in here. So now I've got this one in here. The more I continue doing this, the more I'm able to see exactly what work I need to do. So this spreadsheet is a big part of figuring out what the right work is. If you choose the wrong things on here, that's okay. You'll stop doing it you'll delete it, and then you can put some new things on here. If you don't know what to put on here, just put whatever you're already doing on here, and then if you need to change it, you can change it. The point is, this gives me faith and confidence each day that doing a little bit of work is worth a lot in the grand scheme of things.